Hello, I'm about to use the Aardvark IDE for my Arduino Due Milanove and my touch shield slide. Um, so I'm just going to plug my slide right on top of my Arduino. So the first thing I'm going to do is open up Firefox and go to liquidware.com. Um, from liquidware I'm going to go to the App Store the new Arduino IDE for Windows. Click the download button and download it. It'll take a few minutes to download. It's a pretty big file. 52 megs for the Windows version. As soon as the IDE downloads, I'm going to open up the MSI file. Click Run. And it takes a, a little while for it to get ready to install. The next thing you do is going to click Next. Uh, in our program files, Arduino, click Next again. Install. And it's going to take a few minutes to actually go through the, the setup and install everything here. Then when you're done, you're going to click Finish, and that'll close out the window. Next, click on the Arduino.exe. And if you go to a File, Sketchbook, Open, go to Program Files, you can just choose the Arduino slide combination. And you can see that the gadget window on the left opens and closes. The gadgets I have are made up of the two different devices, the Touch Shield Slide and the Arduino. So I'm just going to pop over to Liquidware. I'm going to download the Input Shield Display Code to test the Input Shield on the Touch Shield Slide. Just copy the text from that sketch, and I'm going to paste it. save it as a new gadget file. I'm going to call this one Mike uh, Arduino Slide. So, so the next thing I did was click on the Arduino icon. I went to File, Sketchbook, Open, opened by Mike Arduino Slide Gadget. Uh, I like swapping back and forth between the, the slide and the Arduino. Um, it's not programming quite perfectly unless you swap them. I compile them. Um, done compiling, compiled OK. Uh, just double check the serial port. Yep, com is correct. Um, before you program the touch yield slide, you're going to need to click the programming button, which is that button right there. As you can see, the, uh, the red LED just turned on. And then when I click uh, the upload, you'll see the Arduino RX and TX blinking. Uh, as the program begins to upload. You can see them starting there. And they're starting to go back and forth, blinking. And uh, the program is uploaded. So once that's uploaded, I'm going to open up the Arduino device. The code's there for that. Compile. And it is done compiling. And I'm going to upload it to the Arduino board. It should only take a few seconds. And it's uploaded successfully.